proper torque converter selection, as well as subsequent tuning, are the keys to a successful drag racing program. By customizing the converter's performance to best suit your combination, your driving style, and the track conditions you encounter most often, you'll reap the benefits of lower elapsed times, higher trap speeds, and more wind lights. At Neil Chance Racing Converters, we're passionate about performance, and we want you to have the tools you need to extract the maximum performance from your torque converter. Success at the drag strip starts with gathering the right information, both about your setup and how it gets down the track. When ordering a Neil Chance Custom Converter, the information we're going to need is twofold. The power source and the vehicle itself. On the power source, we need to know info like, is it naturally aspirated nitrous, turbo, blower? We need to know about the bore, the stroke, the cubic inch, the cylinder heads, all of that information. As far as the vehicle itself, we need to know, is it a big tire car? Is it a tube chassis suspension car? Or is it a stock suspension radial type? We need all of that information. From that information, we can custom design a converter for your application. In addition to knowing what data is important when it comes to building and tuning a converter, it's also worthwhile to recognize these common mistakes many racers make when setting up their converter. If you want to save time and not put a lot of extra passes on your car, you need good data. The most common mistake is opening up your data log to see how well your converter is working and you go right to the finish line and judge, oh, my converter has 6% slippage. I wonder if we can make it any better. That is absolutely wrong. You never tune anything on your race car from the finish line back. You tune the front splits, the 60 and the 60 to 330 split, because the back half of the track is always a product of how fast you accelerated the car in the front half. Just like a clutch car, getting peak performance from an automatic requires tuning the converter to react properly to not just the amount of horsepower and torque being applied, but how it's being delivered as well. Not all horsepower is the same. A nitrous car wants to be loaded at an extremely fast rate. Whereas a blower car, the biggest mistake you could make would be to load it too fast. They're all load sensitive in different manners. Armed with an understanding of how your combination applies power, data collected from test passes, and how different converter components affect its performance, you're prepared to take advantage of the full potential of a Neil Chance racing converter. When changing the stall on your Neil Chance Bolt Together Converter, 99% of the time the component you're going to change is the stator. We build stators in two and a half degree increments from 20 degrees to 50 degrees, so there's an awful lot of stators you can try. Now the things we're going to look for first in how your converter's holding the power of your motor is the engine RPM, the drive shaft, and the G-meter. From these three components, we can show you things to look for, like does your G-meter drop and the drive shaft can go up at the same point? That's where you're spinning the tire. We can show you all of these things and others and teach you how to tune your converter reading your data. From baseline converter selection to advanced tuning and world-class racer support, the experts in Neil Chance Racing Converters are ready to help you get down the track quickly and consistently. Visit us online at racingconverters.com or give us a call at 316-542-9869 to speak to a torque converter professional about your program's unique needs.